Get back here in Washington, lawmakers remain deadlocked as the federal government shutdown continues. House Republicans have presented a deal to the White House to temporarily raise the debt ceiling without reopening the government. The U.S. president is said to be considering it, but no agreements have been reached. Well, we're now, we're joined in the studio by CCTV's Jim Spellman. And Jim, I feel like I've asked you this question before, but any end in sight? <laughs> No, but let's walk through the details from today. Today, Senate Republicans made an offer to extend that debt ceiling for six weeks in exchange for some alterations to the president's health care plan. But the White House said, has said repeatedly that so-called Obamacare is off limits. So for now, the impasse continues. Lord, give our lawmakers. After another day of meetings between Republicans and U.S. President Barack Obama, still no deal. But some Republicans seem happy just to be communicating with the president. But at least he's talking to members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. He may not want to call it a negotiation. That's what I would call it. And I do view that as progress. To protect the American people uh, from Obamacare. The issues haven't changed. Republicans insist on some sort of compromise from the Democrats. Top of their wish list. Changes to the president's signature health care plan, commonly known as Obamacare. I think uh, you'll see something come out of the House in the next 24 hours to reopen the entire government uh, that will have changes to Obamacare that will not destroy the program but will make it better. I think you'll see an effort by the House to raise the debt ceiling, not for a year, but for a period of time. I hope the President will accept these gestures from the House and we get this behind us uh, in the next 48 hours. But the White House has repeatedly said it won't make concessions in exchange for opening the government or raising the debt ceiling. The president has long believed and has insisted that we cannot allow a situation where one party in one house uses the threat of default to try to extract concessions through budget negotiations. And it is his position that the right thing to do is to remove that gun from the table, uh, extend the debt ceiling. Meantime, some of the most conservative House Republicans who are driving the shutdown rallied their base at the Value Voters Summit finding some humor in the situation. So after leaving here, I'm going to be going to the White House. I will make a request. If I'm never seen again, please send a search and rescue team. But furloughed federal workers are unlikely to find that funny. Friday means payday for many Americans. But for most furloughed federal workers, they will only receive half their pay due to the shutdown. The next one will be all zeros. Those federal employees will receive their back pay once the government is back up and running at full capacity. But until then, many will struggle just to pay their bills, Mike. And of course, we do know that the lawmakers are still getting paid. They're still reporting for work. That really hurts the yeah, federal employees. I know it does. Uh, and, and so I'll frame the question differently. Is there any daylight between these two? Do you see any opening? At, at the White House press conference today, Jay Carney, the White House spokesman, seem to indicate that maybe if they could get a longer extension than six weeks that they may have some room to move. The White House's concern is that in six weeks it will be right before the U.S. holiday of Thanksgiving. That is the unofficial kickoff of the holiday shopping season. Very important to the economy. So they fear that uh, even just talk of a shutdown at that era, at that point, could have even bigger impact than it would have now. So possibly he was, you know, hinting maybe that if they could extend it, they could have some room to move. But at this point, it's hard to do much more than read between the lines. And I'm not sure that the lawmakers and the negotiators can do much more at this point either. They just seem to come to impasse after impasse. Mm. Well, they've got to get it done at some point. Jim Spellman, thanks so much.